let's go on an adventure. Ba 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 shoo ba 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 up yeah. Let's go on it together. I did it, did it, did it, Let's go on an adventure. Ba ba shoo ba 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 up yeah. Let's go on it forever. To do my love, and if you're feeling bored, I know you know the cure. You know you know the cure. Let's go on an adventure, pop, pop, shoot, pop, 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 yeah. Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of the Musical Chairs in Massachusetts. We are coming to you live from the chair city of Gardner, Mass, where we feature local area musicians, I guess now currently all over New England because we're growing and running out of Massachusetts musicians. <laughs> I'm just glad that something else is growing besides my waist. Because um, I just I just ate like you a just whole, housed like a whole bowl. <laughs> like, like just so many chocolates. And this time I didn't eat the wrapper. Um yeah, it was good. Yeah. Yeah, chocolate. Anyways, uh <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys for uh tuning in for another episode of the Musical Cheers in Massachusetts. Where uh, we just have a lot of fun with uh, our musicians. Uh, we have been so fortunate too, uh, Nikki, haven't we? Uh, just with the selection of musicians that we've had on the show so far. Yeah, I think I've been doing a pretty good job. Oh yeah, you know, yeah. getting them in here. That's right. Yeah, getting them in here, and then not letting them go. Uh, no, it's it's been great, and uh, this season too is off to a rocking start. Um, I'm just really happy that we've had um, some great acts so far. We've had. Young other, they were awesome, like no other, like no other, <laughs> and uh, and now we have our next guest, yeah, yeah. But uh, what's going on in your world there, Christopher? Uh, you know, not too much, just kind of living life, uh, one chocolate at a time. I'm still on the chocolate thing, uh, yeah, <laughs> no, no, uh, things are good, things are really good. We, uh, you know, we're approaching fall. In fact, I think we are in fall. Mm. Um, and, you know, I love this time of year. I absolutely love it. It's, uh, it's a great time of year because we get to uh, have apples. Yeah. And then uh, go apple picking. Mm -hmm. And then, um, you know, apple cider. Mm -hmm. And then apple dumplings. And apple cider donuts. And apple cider donuts. Mm -hmm. And apple juice. And anything apple, really. Mm. Uh, I I just I just love this time of year. Uh, pumpkin pie. I love pumpkin. I don't know why, but I think of when I think of fall, I think of pumpkin pie. Um, you can tell. I just had all this chocolate. All, all all the basic bitches are coming out in fall with oh, their yeah. pumpkin spice yeah. bullshit and. Oh, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> I, 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 I like I said, I can't believe I had all this chocolate. I'm still hungry. Uh, I'm fine. Because that's not nutritious food, Christopher. No, no, but apples are. I should go get pick some apples. Uh, how's things going with you? Eh, not bad. I um, restarted Breaking Bad for the probably fourth time. Ooh, I love Breaking it's my Bad. My favorite show. Yeah, but you know, like you know, like they do like a lot of live action things and all that stuff. And obviously, it's already live action because there's real people in it. But like, what about a Muppet version of Breaking Bad? Oh. My God! Like like breaking beaker, or something. Animal animal will be the tweaker dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. Like, why didn't they not have a Muppet version of Breaking Bad? Oh my God! Yeah, one hundred percent. You have a beaker in there messing things up, like me 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 me. Well, <laughs> yeah, because that beaker would be like the Jesse. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the Jesse Pinkman. Yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, oh my God! Who'd be Walter? 
Who would be? Um, I know this is a tough one. One of the old guys um, that that sits up in the the theater there. Oh, I was thinking the eagle dude. <gasps> oh, yeah. He's just angry. Yeah. 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 Well, I like it. Well, well, it's like it's almost like. Um, have you ever? Do you remember the show Crank Anchors? Yes. Yeah. So like that kind of a Muppety spin to it. Oh, I love that. Yeah. That's awesome. Keep it, you know, inappropriate because we yep. can't. We we can't have wholesome Jim, you know, Jim no. Henson going to the dark side with the blue meth. So I, like that, we got to make it more of a crank yeah, version. Yeah, yeah. No, I love it. And there's our printer. Uh, <laughs> Ding! Print, thing is done. Printer, printer, <laughs> printer agrees. Yes, printer does agree. Printer agrees. Uh, well, guys, uh, yeah, that's great. No, I uh, I agree. Um, yeah. Well. Somebody somewhere should probably, I don't know. It'll it's out now in the people's airwaves. So who know. knows? Maybe. I paused right there because I was looking at a mental image of it and I was just like, this is awesome. Right? Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh but it, Sorry, that was my ADHD brain for <laughs> for the day. Hey, what's going on in your world? I don't know. I'm watching Breaking Bad and I want a Muppet version of it. Well <laughs> well, speaking of Muppets. Uh, I am. Uh, <laughs> that is not. A, that's not a proper segue. Uh, speaking of the Muppets, they're still all currently in timeout, yeah. except for Kermit. I need to fix that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, guys, you're in for a treat. I am a big fan, big fan of this next guest, who uh, I'm telling you, um, performed. I think it's the very last song performed. One of my favorite songs. Mm-hmm. Um. But he's great. He's lo- he's local. He's uh, um, you know, well known in, in the circuit of the local op- open mics. Yep. Yep. Um, and he's he's come out with some of his own songs recently. Uh, he's a songwriter as well. So let's uh, let's find out who our next guest is today. All right, let's do it. Today we are joined by Derek D. Acoustic. He has been playing music his entire life. Music is a big part of his family dynamic as his father was a music teacher. Derek has learned multiple instruments, but in fifth grade, stuck with the bass after severing nerves in his fret hand. After going through surgery, he eventually picked up the guitar again and got back out there as a solo act. You can catch him around at lots of open mics in our area as well. Welcome to the show, Derek. Yeah. I guess you could say it because that surgery is no longer all about the bass. All I have to say is that applause is more for me because I got through that one. <laughs> yeah, <thing. laughs> you are a pro. Pro. Uh, no, I. What an incredible uh, intro, my friend. You, you've been through uh, a little bit of a journey there, and uh, yeah, yeah. yeah you're I mean, it's a you know, it, it's funny too because like uh, sometimes you, I, I don't think about it too much because it happened when I was so young, type thing. Um, sure. But when I, if I, if it comes up somehow and I talk to people, it becomes like a, like a, I get that wide eyed thing and, and I don't think of it that way, you know, but, but a lot of times, um, and then it's like, yeah, but Django had two fingers and I, he plays oh, way boy. better than I do. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, it's true. It's, it's all part of that human spirit, man. You just yeah. fight through it. You learn to adapt and, and you just carry on. Yeah. 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 So I'm, adapt I'm constantly overcome. trying to, trying to improve my guitar skills, but, uh, you know, um, you work with with what talents you have, right? Well, you know what uh, you uh, we are our own toughest critics because it's very true. I have seen you out there, and you are good, my friend. Like you, you deserve a little bit more credit than you give yourself. Um, <laughs> Thank you for sure. Much um, appreciated. I, I deserve some credit too because I'm the one that discovered him for the show. It's true. I you mean, did. and you sure. did, you did, you did, and and that was at another open mic uh, run by another guy that you have on the show, Jared Moore. Before. Jared Moore. Yeah. 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 Oh, we'll yeah. do a shameless plug to the Mill City Pub on Mondays for Jared Moore's open mic. Why not? Sure, Absolutely. of course. Absolutely. Yeah, my friend over here was, you know, playing his his set time and order, and then he sat down right next to me at the bar, and I'm like, Hey, man, you play, you play pretty good. Here's my card, and here we are. Yeah, here we are today. Here we are. Here a couple, we few are. months later, however long it was, you know. Sorry, we're kind of busy over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just a little. But that's incredible. No, and, and cheers to Jared for for we all love you, Jared. Jared. Yeah, we love you, Jared. Guys, great, great guy. Great he guy. is. He really is. Amazing musician. Beyond that, but, but right. just a great guy. Yeah, he is, and and the, the whole musical community is just fantastic. You guys, you know, you're all out there performing on uh, open mics, and and. 
you know, you guys are all sharing the uh, stories and tricks of the trades and, and just really supportive of each other. Yeah, I do feel like this area uh, has, I, I mean, it, back in the day, it felt like everything was very contentious and everything was very, um, you know, um, adversarial. Sure. You know, but it really seems like the group that we have out here, uh, there's so many great musicians, as we've talked about before. There's so many amazing musicians out in this area. And um, and everybody's always supporting each other. And it's it's really, really cool. Yeah, it really is. I mean, and, and the fact that we have uh, so many, you know, open mics out there, I guess, uh, opportunities for musicians to get out there, either at any level, really, um, whether it's their first time or their hundredth time. And... And it's cool because you get to watch uh, this lineup and the uh, first timers are so, I think, motivated or inspired by what they're hearing from the, the vets out there that they're performing as at the same caliber as, as the, uh, the veteran guys out there. So, uh, and, I, and I look at you, Derek, and I, and I think you're, you're the same way. Yeah, well, I appreciate that. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's really great. Like a lot, a lot of these open mics that... You know, it's the the ones run by these guys that we know that that I play a lot of times and stuff like that. They just everybody's so supportive in those rooms, and you can just uh, really, you know, small small startup people will will get to play and you get a lot of support and a lot of encouragement from more established artists, and it's it's just a great thing to see. Well, I mean, Chris, you just did an op- you did now it's two open mics. I mean, what was your first feelings and thoughts going into that? Like, what? Obviously, you were probably nervous, but like, you uh, felt very welcomed. I'm assuming, right? They were never supposed to know that, Nikki. Oh well, that was a secret. Uh, by <laughs> well, um, once it's on the it internet, probably. it's there forever. It's there forever. So, anywho, I mean, I'm pretty sure you can easily attest to, you know, what the feeling was like going into your first open mic. Yeah, sure. So, um, if I was normal. Um, I, Normal's a setting on a washing machine. It's true. Um, yeah, I probably should have been like a little bit way more nervous about it than I was. But again, kind of just seeing everybody, whether they were new at this or not, going out there and just taking a chance, just inspired me just to go out there take a chance. I felt I felt fine, really. Um, everybody welcomed you. Everyone yeah, made you feel comfortable. Very supportive. The old judgment free you know. zone. Yeah, like like uh, you know, Franco introduced me and said. Hey, Chris is new here. Let's give him three cheers. Hey, you know, and and I was like, oh, okay. Um, and it really helped inspire me to uh, just be be out there and, and um, do the thing. And, and that's kind of why I really admire you guys that are out there performing because uh, it must be a very similar feeling for you to, uh, you know, just put yourself out there. If people like it, great. If they don't, great. And not for you. They're not your people. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's. I mean, to me, it's a music is is very. I, I mean, as as we were, we were speaking of earlier, it's a it's been a fabric of my life and and my family history for forever. I mean, there's pictures of of from the early 1800s of women sitting in in a field with a guitar in their hands, wow. and and it's it's uh you know when you think about women's rights at that time, you know, and and just them them just performing and all that type of stuff, it's just crazy. But sure, you know. It's it's cathartic to to play music for me, and it's something that I realized that I I had to get back into doing, um, yeah, for my own mental health, really. Sure, you know more than anything else. Right, right. And if uh, all you got to do is when you play, like you find that one person who's 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 tapping their foot or bobbing their head, and you, you make that connection with that person, and it just calms you right down. You it know? does. Like mission accomplished. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. As long as as long as somebody's enjoying it, you you brighten somebody's day a little bit. That's that's all oh, the reward love in the that. world. You know, love that. Uh, that's great. That's so, great. what's the first song that you learned how to play, and I guess on what instrument? Uh, that's a tough one for me, <laughs> for me to, because because like I said, like I I uh, I've I've been through multiple instruments. Um, I played the piano. I played drums. My father was is uh, was is a retired music teacher, so um, I'm sure it was something like chopsticks or something <laughs> like that. You know what I mean? Um, but. Uh, but yeah, because he's very, very structured, very mm-hmm. um, methodical. If you yeah, very, very kind of old school, yeah. um, old school music teaching type mm-hmm. thing, you know, uh, which doesn't fit my style well. Like I don't learn that way so right. well. But, but, um, 
but yeah, like it's and it's just always been there. So that's cool. Sweet. You know, it's that f- uh, first song too that, or the first time you. At engaged- least you didn't say "Smoke on the Water." <laughs> I think that was probably the first one on the guitar. My, <laughs> my, <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, no, it's it's that first time you touch that instrument. An instrument's like, don't touch me. Uh, that instrument's just like, I mean, the, instrument. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the you know, that engagement of uh, playing that instrument really inspires you. And, and you're like, oh, this is cool. This is making really neat sounds. And then you just go into it from there and, um, you know, kind yeah, of expand. And I, love, I love hearing, like, uh, especially, like, I focus a lot on, I feel like my strength is my voice more than my guitar playing. So, but so I have a tendency to focus on amazing stories of guitarists, right? Yeah. Because it just it blows my mind. And and one that just comes to mind is um, like Kenny Wayne Shepherd, which which who I who I loved when I was when I was growing up and stuff like that. Like he never learned how to like read music and like like oh, he, yeah. you know he, he was a self taught person. Like it wasn't like he was. You guys first record contract when he was 13 it was crazy you know oh yeah and it's, it's just like you have, you have that raw talent that's just out there it's just amazing you know oh absolutely i, I mean i'm as i've been practicing with the piano not as much as i should but you know since i was 15 life always, gets in the way though yeah. yeah it's getting there um but then i see this like nine-year-old is like playing beethoven fifth, <laughs> whatever just like with his elbows and i'm like okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah like, that's like me and my father a, a few years back we went to uh we went to uh, Django Reinhardt Festival, which I think they hold each year out in Western Massachusetts. And it's um, artists from around the world. Um, and we're standing there waiting to get in. We already have our tickets. And, you know, it gets quiet for a minute. So my father turns to me and says, uh, so you, you're ready to go see some music that makes you wonder why you either bother trying? Because <laughs> 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 those, I mean, like, amazing technical skills of, of the people that play that oh, festival. Because yeah. it's a Django Festival. Right. So. And then you have like me over here. So we we had a, a photo shoot in studio a couple weeks ago, um, and they're like, you know, oh, play the piano. Look like you're playing the piano, and I can't play the piano. So I literally just sat there and was like, do 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 do. Oh, maybe I like it wrong. And they're like, what is wrong with you? I'm like, it's the only <laughs> thing I know how to play. <laughs> oh, <laughs> should we? Should we? Yeah, it works though. <laughs> You're playing it though. I yeah. did it. Yeah. I played something. Hey, right, there you go. You can't show say you don't know how to play the piano. Show me you did play the <laughs> and that's what it's about. It's just about like who cares if you're good or not. Um, just, Absolutely. Just get out there. Just get and out do there it. and Absolutely. give it the old college try. Just give it the old college well, try. and like and 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 you you know like um, the standard structure for for music for blues and rock. Um, is not supposed to work according to music theory. Right. Um, right. And, and it all came out of blues, right? Um, oh, yeah. I think every, most people know that. Um, it all stems from blues. It's the same progression. It's a one, four, five progression. Um, but it's, it's the, uh, this is my train of thought. Oh, yeah. I completely lost my train of thought. <laughs> Welcome to my world. I'm like, who am I? <laughs> I think that's, that's our, that's our, um, or segue into maybe it's time to play a song. Uh, excuse me, this is a break. Uh, oh, I just hit record. Oh, well. Oh, okay. Oh, well. well, hold on. Come on, get back That's to work. That's what is for. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I gotta... I gotta call mother. And tell her. I'm busy being famous, Mom. Hey, Mom, hey, we're <laughs> recording a show right now. You, 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 you broke into it. Okay. No. Hi, Mom. <laughs> because I'm recording a show after church. <laughs> Love you, too. Love you, Thanks. too, Mom. Bye. Bye. Can you keep that in, please? Oh, my God. It's recorded. <laughs> <laughs> All you can hear is your mom saying, wah, 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 wah. Is that Love, right? Love you, too. Bye. <laughs> I guess Very Charlie can... <laughs> Brown. Oh, I didn't know it was Charlie Brown. <clears throat> you know, with my throat, it's who is like, ooh, I sound like Peppermint Patty. I'm like. Hey, oh. Chuck. Hey, Chuck. <laughs> You're holding my hand, Chuck. <laughs> oh, I hate it. You, you should leave that in, though, because that, was, oh, that no. was totally adorable. Your mom made a little little cameo appearance. Oh, I'm like, let me call this during the show. <laughs> no, yours. Wah, 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 wah. Okay, let me. Bye. <laughs> uh, Derek, what are you going to play for us? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. We have to give some pause there. 
<laughs> I can't. I can't. Now that I'm splicing this stuff, I don't know what this is like. No, just leave it all in. This is gold. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is gonna be a mess. This is real life. This, this is, is real life. life. This yeah. is real life, folks. Uh, no. Is this the real life? Or oh, is this just <laughs> fantasy? It's, it's a nightmare, actually. <laughs> it, it's, it's a nightmare. <laughs> Terry, um. play song first, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, as I mentioned, I, I do stuff from uh, 60s through today, so I figured I should probably do, do an old, old oh, one. We're going to work our way Ooh. through the timeline? Uh, yeah, I think the last one the last one I played earlier uh, for the live portion was uh, post-2000. Yep. Nice. Uh, so we're going to jump back to the 60s. Let's do it. Get your flux capacitor ready. I heart the flux capacitor. <laughs> <laughs> Saying you got something for me, something you call love but confess. You've been messing where you shouldn't have been messing. Now someone else is getting on your best. These boots are made for walking, and that's just what they'll do. One of these days these boots are gonna walk all over you You keep lying when you ought to be truthful You keep losing when you ought to not bet You keep saying when you ought to be a changing now it's right, it's right, but you ain't been right yet These boots are made for walking And that's just what they'll do and One of these days these boots are gonna walk all over You keep playing where you shouldn't be playing Thinking that you never get burned ha -ha! I just found me a brand new box of matches And what he knows you ain't had time to learn These boots are made for walking And that's just what they'll do One of these days these boots are gonna walk all over you That was awesome. Nice. I love that. Uh, so, so I actually, I actually learned that song because when I started playing out again, the first uh, recently, the the first gig I got was at uh, at a divorce party because apparently those <laughs> really? are the things now. <laughs> That's oh, awesome. where have that? Where has that Whoa! Been? <laughs> How come you didn't have one, Chris? Right. What? Seriously. So I got hired to go and play this woman's house for for a big party for her divorce party. You wow. know, Chris, it, it hasn't been that long. I can still make that happen for you. Actually, was that party at my ex-wife's? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We'll chat out. We'll, we'll, yeah. we'll figure it out. We'll nail it down. Uh, but, <laughs> that's awesome. But I but I, I learned that song for that for that for that party. I was like, this fits. You know? What else was on the playlist? Because like, <laughs> right. I, was there, there a was, theme? That well, I was I tried to add a few things, but uh, but I think that was the only one that I actually played that day that I tried that I had actually recently added just for that. I feel that like gig. you know awesome. she effing hates me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that'll yeah. work. That'll work. You know. Jeez, what won't they think of next? <laughs> <laughs> Can I have it? I stubbed my toe, and, but I got out of bed this morning party. Like, is that a thing? Right. <laughs> right, uh, My God. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do uh, one that I, where I don't want to be at work party. It'll be Phil, uh, Phil Collins just uh, take me home. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel it in the air tonight. I'm not going to work tonight. <laughs> right. I can feel it in the air tonight. I'm not going to work tomorrow. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> oh man! Oh, I love all this. Ah, Phil Collins. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's so funny because, like, um, you know, Scott Allen Savoy mm-hmm. actually plays that song, oh, and every you. time he plays it, like um, at sound bites and all that stuff, I always do the drum solo like on the table, and he has to stop and giggle. <laughs> I <laughs> throw him off every time. <laughs> That's awesome. You gotta expect that. Though. <laughs> He should by now, especially if I'm in the audience. But (laughs) right, oh, that's funny. Um, Okay, let's let's get this. Let's get this train back on the tracks. Um, Yeah, it's like a train wreck. You don't you don't want to look, but you can't look away. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Um, Hmm. So we know how long you've been uh, playing and performing. That's it's been a while. Do you have a guilty pleasure song? I was just going to get that one. <laughs> no, it's like we have ESPN um, or something. ESPN. <laughs> I don't know that I do. You play Taylor uh, Swift, don't me, you? It, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Shake I, it up. I, I feel like... Um, have you ever I, Rickrolled anyone? No. no. Uh-huh. You should. <laughs> if, if there's a way you can work that into your set. I, do, I think I'm just too shameless to have a... Well, then that's all the more song. reason to. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? That like, I all- don't... I, I love doing things, and then people go, I have never heard that before. I'm that's, like, I know, right? That's all the more reason to, to rickroll somebody at an open mic. Yes. Just right. just call me when you decide to throw that in your set, so I'm there for it. Okay, I will. Please and thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, is there someone or something that inspired you to pursue music? Um, I mean, I guess I would have to say my father. Um, we, you know, it, it just was a... It was like we said. It was is a is a staple in my house my entire life. Like it was, it was his uh, band touring the area um, when I was a kid. His band practicing in the living room, you oh, know, wow. um, all the time. And then I would just uh, I'd sit there, and then I'd get a little bit older, and I would I'd go and I'd you know sit in with a couple of guys and play bass on a couple of songs, you know, yeah. with, you know, just hanging out with them and stuff like that. And that, that was that was a lot of my early childhood is just hanging out with hanging out with bands and going to concerts and you that's know because awesome. it was it was always shows you know it was always music it that's, always has been that's incredible what's the first concert you ever went to that's a uh that's another one that i don't even know how i could answer it right okay. so the only way i could answer it is the first one that i chose okay. to go to uh was a green day concert all right uh, i was Love when dookie came out um i i asked for tickets for like my birthday or something and mm-hmm. I went to the Green Day concert and got the floor floor <sighs> seat so I could get into the pit and all that stuff. And you got the full experience. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But but like I mean, like a, you know, it was watching my father's band play out, and then it was you know we're all if we if it wasn't his band playing out, we were always going out and seeing music, and and I'm the same way. Uh, if I'm not playing, I'm going somewhere and I'm seeing live mm-hmm. music. It's mm-hmm. just yeah, nice music like, is magic. Yeah, whew, magic. Can we turn that into merch? <laughs> oh, we should. We should, definitely. I mean, it's better than moisture than an oyster. <laughs> moisture than an oyster. <laughs> Every time it rains, it's like that. Uh, Hold on. Hold on. Hold, please. Uh-oh. Not today. today. No. It no, the poll ain't wet. No. The people's poll ain't wet. No, it's never the people's poll. It's the fucking one behind it. Oh, the people's people's poll. People's oh. poll. That's why we still have signatures on the thing. Because mm-hmm. that, one doesn't, that one doesn't get sweaty. You know why the second one, the wet one, usually is called the People's People's Poll? I don't know. Well, no. Oh. Uh, I don't care to know. No, no, it, it's not going to be dirty. Um, it, it's the pee people. <laughs> you missed the button. <laughs> <laughs> it's the pee people. For, uh, for once, I am kind of speechless. Yeah, That's right. not very often, but what, Jesus, what in the actual shit? What? Um, <laughs> I broke her. <laughs> <laughs> What's the craziest thing you ever encountered at like a gig? Um, I would have to say uh, it was when I had uh, one of my early bands, and we were doing a uh, a battle of the bands for I can't remember because it was a couple in in that in in that year that we did. I can't remember if it was Rock One Hundred One or WAF. Oh, rip. Oh, rip. yep, but, in memoriam. Uh, yeah. <laughs> But uh, so we were up on stage and, you know, we didn't we didn't sell a lot of tickets. so We didn't get a lot of people there, but we got into the into the venue. We got you know, we got on the stage, you know, so we were pretty excited about it. We knew it wasn't going to go anywhere, but it was it was exciting. And uh, 
and there was the other bands uh part of the judging is uh crowd participation so all the other bands that were playing no and their people nobody would react to anything mm. and so it was weird because it was like really quiet and it's it wasn't usually like that and then one of the bands started throwing beers at us and lit cigarettes so like my guitarist like kicked one of, kicked one of the beers I was thrown at him like back out out of the air back at the crowd and picked up a lit cigarette and smoked it and yeah. like, <laughs> that was back in the day when you could smoke in bars and stuff That's like that. Awesome. You know what I mean, oh, yeah, so that was that was pretty nuts. I would have to say, it's crazy. Yeah, he just rolled with it. It was oh yeah, and that's that's it, you know and <laughs> you you think this cigarette scares me? I'll show right, you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He's that type of dude, man. That's and, awesome. And that's, I think I'd probably do the same thing, honestly. Right? I, I'm not that quick. I don't think that quick, you know. But. Yeah, I I had a buddy who uh, did that with a cigarette. Uh, he actually dropped it on the green line, mm-hmm. and we're like, dude, what are you doing? <laughs> he picks it back up, puts it in his mouth. <gasps> I'm like, oh! I'm like, my dude, you just got Ebola. No, no, now he's immune to COVID. Yeah, uh, yeah, he was the only guy oh that didn't get ca- uh, COVID for sure. Say less. So, uh, well, I, uh, kudos to your buddy there. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good people. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, and that's that part is really cool when you can share music uh, with your buddies mm-hmm. and just go out there and jam. Yeah, it's. A, I mean, I I can't say that. I, the the vast majority of my friends throughout my life have always been musicians. Um, nice. Even if even if not publicly, like privately, you know, um, there's there's something that's a little bit broken in every musician. I feel like, yeah, and it kind of draws us together. You know, y'all are a right. special breed. <laughs> Undone got herded. Yeah, you know, they yeah. say like weirdos of a feather flock together. Yeah. type deal. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Yep. Well, that's cool. That's cool. The um, is there now? I, you know, we're obviously here. We're all f- are fans of all kinds of music. Mm-hmm. But is there a genre of music that that really appeals to you? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm a huge metalhead and uh, and, nice. a, and a punk guy. Um, uh, it's not what I play. Well, it's not entirely true. There's some songs that have converted to acoustic songs that oh, are punk, cool. and, punk and metal. Yeah, um, yeah, I like that. But uh, but yeah, it's it's mostly punk and metal. But my. Uh, my playing doesn't doesn't uh, it, for at least this project, if you will, yeah. doesn't uh, doesn't go that way. Okay, this is uh, something else. But it's um, I and and it's funny because I always hear people argue that's like, well, I can't, you can't understand the words. Like, how can you listen to that? I'm like, okay, what's your favorite song? This song. Do you know the words? No. Well, then why are you? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or, right. or like like you said, metal. It's like I hear people. I don't like my music berating me. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the oh. thing that the thing that I feel with with metal, especially um, when you have that type of a vocal, when you have that much projection and that much effort in it, um, you you cannot fake it. Oh yeah. Like if you have a very good voice, you can fake a song and not have any emotion behind it, and it'll sound great, right? Mm-hmm. But with metal, if you don't have that feeling behind you, it will not work. Right. You know, and and hard rock too like to that sure. to that you know, anything anything like that any any genre like that where you have to project a bit with with the with the vocals it just doesn't work if uh if you don't actually have it in your heart yeah i mean that's I that's, that. yeah. that's like a uh pantera like <clears throat> phil man he he whoo, whoo. yeah he's wackadoo but he's really good <laughs> he's really, 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 really good we love you phil <laughs> yeah all right, people, right? don't shoot me <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, but uh, you know, I, I met those guys. Uh, unfortunately, it was after, I think it was after Phil. Mm-hmm. Um, but oh, I met Dimebag Daryl. Oh, rest in peace. Rest in peace. from uh, Damage Plan. Just really good, down to earth guys. Like, mm-hmm. you know, they're uh, people, Christopher. And that's yeah, that's the thing. You know, as we've been having musicians come into the studio, they're like, oh, you're human. Uh, which you know is Here's not an average show with a guitar. That's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. Mm. The, fun, the funny thing is how many of them are, are really so reserved. You know what I mean? Very right. humble. In, yeah. in typical yeah. interactions, you know, that being on stage is a completely like I'm a very introverted person, right? So, right. But uh, but being on stage, it's a different thing. You step out of yourself. You step into somebody else. It's your, a, your alter ego comes yeah, out. Yeah, <laughs> it's a it's it's a whole new world. You know, a whole new <laughs> world. <laughs> She shut I, me down. I just spared everybody. <laughs> <laughs> nope. No. Sorry. Sorry. Um, 
Yeah, we were about to get sued by Disney, so I'm, I'm, th- I'm glad you did that. Yeah, see, so, I'm looking out for us, man. That's like, what a good hey, producer thank you, does. Thank you, thank you. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so hey, let's uh, speaking of uh, music, let's uh, get into another song, shall we? Yeah, we're just here so we don't get sued. Yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, do, do you have any Disney tunes for us? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so sticking with the theme of jumping around decades, let's do it. Uh, do one from the '90s that maybe some people will remember. Everything is wrong Now it's time to sing along When you're day and night alone You feel like letting go Hey! 
Wow. Oh, man. That was beautiful. Thank you. That was incredible. I, uh, I We normally don't um, <laughs> inject reverb. Uh, that just was... Yeah, that but called for it. it called for it. <laughs> that was like it's one of those airy songs, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and and now I hurt. So. <laughs> oh. You know, it's funny because like when I when I I stumbled on the song actually, um, I bought a bought a guitar off a coworker and and uh, and I was sitting there playing on the couch with it, fiddling around, and and I was like, oh, what is that? It was like, oh, I remember that song. And I was like, oh, you know, I would never play that. Like, you know, it's so depressing and whatever, blah blah blah. But uh, the more I like, once I learned it and I started playing it, and I start, and I'm like, it's 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 really not a sad song. It's a song about perseverance. Yeah, it's right. a song about getting knocked down and getting back up and and continuing on and pushing through things. You know, it's it's really a, a song about perseverance, and it's actually quite beautiful. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely, and we've all been through that. That's for sure. Um, yeah, it's everybody hurts, but they keep on keeping on, basically. Yep. Yeah. It, you got to move forward, you know, yeah. one step in front of the other, you know, in it, the hardest times, that's that's all you can do, right? That's why the rear view mirror is so little. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice, I like that one. Oh, I do like that. That's why the windshield's bigger than the rear view mirror. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you just got to hold on, you're not alone. No. Yeah. 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 Ah, uh, cool. Very good job, my friend. Thank you, yeah, thank you. Yeah. Uh, okay, so, you know, if you had a, uh, if you're out there... Which I know you're going to be out there uh, performing. He's more out there a lot. You're out, yeah, you're out there a lot. <laughs> I'm, out, I'm out at a lot of open mics right now. Yeah, but but if you people had, hire him, people yeah. hire him. Yeah. <laughs> I have a few gigs coming up. Yeah, or and we are now in the future. So I have we a few are. kids in the past, and I assume there's going to be some more in the future. That's right. Um, you know, hopefully the world hasn't ended by the time this is aired. That's good until <laughs> 2030. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but you know, if you had a dream venue, where would your dream venue be? Um, I, I had never really th- thought about that too much about like what I would want to play. Um, but so I'm just going to go with the, my dream venue to see a concert at. Yeah. And that'd be Red Rocks. Oh, oh. that's, that's a crowd favorite. Yeah. yeah. You know, like it's just uh, like you see the pictures there and it's just stunning. Stunning. Yeah. You know, absolutely stunning. I have no idea what the acoustics are like, but. <laughs> so, um, incredible. Really? It's really incredible. So, you know, I, I just watched a TikTok about this song and I'm a, oh, God. a artificial the, 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 the TikToks. Uh, expert. You, the oldest man in the room, <laughs> is the one that's uh, talking about TikTok. I'm on the TikToks. <laughs> um, so anyways. But yeah, it, it, it's really great because you know you have the stage towards the back. It's it's really built like an amphitheater, like like in it's Greece. It's a natural right? amphitheater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, you have like a little bit of a, a rock a ledge behind that stage, but then you have these two huge, massive rock ledges on either side, and you have this coliseum seating style seating that just projects upwards, and so they don't have a need for like extravagant uh, speakers. They have just your plain old, Mm -hmm. you know, regular audio system that you would expect at a much smaller venue, but it projects just so incredibly. And honestly, the the biggest thing that you have to go for is the weather. Like, they have had to evacuate that venue so many times because you think the weather is terrible in New England. It Mm. is so much worse out there in Colorado. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it pops. I I went out there for a while, and it was hilarious to me that uh, it was just it's so beautiful out there, right? And then, and... Uh, it was actually one of the rainiest years they had had in, oh, in, like our in last a long summer. time. <laughs> yeah. and, and everyone was complaining about it. They're like, God, oh, you know, it's raining all the time. I was like, dude, it rains torrentially, but it rains for like 30, 45 minutes, maybe. Yeah. Go get lunch. Like, yeah. it, it's like it's Florida. Bright, and then it's bright and beautiful after. Like, right. It's like a Florida blowing storm. Yeah, yeah. But, just go right through real quick. Yeah, really Red, funny. Red Rocks actually gets evacuated quite yeah. frequently. Okay. And I know it's a bit of a hike to get from your car to said <laughs> venue. So there's that. <laughs> Whoa, wait, you can't just park right next to the big Red Rocks? I mean, unless you got a badass Jeep or something and just off-road your way there. You, but. you know, when they were talking about on the TikToks? Uh, Stop uh, it! About, about Red Rock, I didn't see a single... Parking lot anywhere near. No, you literally—it's part of the experience. You have to hike. That's awesome. Yeah, 
Man, yeah, what, do you do, what do you do with all your gear? Yeah, well, what about the musicians? <laughs> well, the musicians is a little different. If you're a patron, you kind of have to hike. Right. But if you're a musician, they helicopter you in. Sweet. Now I really want to play there. <laughs> right? right? Yeah, I want to ride a helicopter. <laughs> they can't land, though, so they have to have you parachute. Uh, yeah. yeah. Or, or rappel down. <laughs> or rappel down, yes. <laughs> can I be like your roadie that handles the, your... your? Uh, oh, absolutely. So I'll, I can I'll, ride in the helicopter with you? You're in my phone, so I'll go give you yeah. a call. Absolutely. Nice. Call nice. me, man. I want to ride in a helicopter. <laughs> Here, if, if for nothing else at all, it's... Yeah. <laughs> Here at Musical Chairs in Massachusetts, we're making connections. Uh, <laughs> that's great. That's great. Uh, we can't steal her, though. She's... Uh, uh, contracted uh, to this the show for the next forty five million years. Hey, Uh-oh. what's my yearly salary, man? Uh, it's n- just a weekend jaunt, anyway. It's, it's, it's negative five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right, folks. We're still poor, um, so <laughs> that's okay. Uh, no, that's awesome. I know I, the venues out there are getting crazier and crazier. The fact that you have the dome in there now, out there in Las Vegas. The Sphere. The Sphere. The sphere. Yeah, yeah. sphere. That was really cool when I went out to Vegas. I could see it from my hotel room window. Oh, was yeah. It, was, it, was it like a giant eyeball looking at you? That was um, one one time. Yeah, it changes. I know. So there was one time where it literally looked like something was on an acid trip. Um, uh-huh. And then it looked like outer space. And then, um, yeah, there was the eyeball. Um, in the morning, it looked like one of those smiley emojis, like just waking up in his eyes to like do one of these things, and like it was, yeah, it was pretty cool. I couldn't be behind that control panel because I'd, I'd have it like a big giant pimple. Ew! Ew. <laughs> if like, you like, if there's anything in this episode to edit out, it could be that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Harold, what's that over there? It's <laughs> get the pimple. What the? That's the biggest pimple I've ever seen. Yeah, that can go. <laughs> Let's crash into it and pop it. <laughs> uh, anyways, um, Phil, um, Phil is now. Yeah, Christopher. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're gonna yeah. we're gonna mute your mic for a little bit here, and um, that's great. Uh, oh, really, that's the thing I just did. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so we got spicy Nikki today. We got spicy Chris. No. <laughs> Caliente. <laughs> I mean, he is like the whitest Spanish dude I think you'll probably ever meet. But <laughs> yeah, it's true. I'm a white non-Spanish speaking Puerto Rican. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. All right, we're muting you again. Um, <laughs> is there any advice that you would give to an aspiring musician just starting out? Um, I would say... First and foremost, take any opportunity that uh, that you can. Always say yes to things, even if it doesn't really fit your format or or whatever you're doing. Um, and and beyond that, don't don't be afraid to make mistakes. Uh, you know, uh, learn everything you can from ev- any anybody you can. Um, there's no right way of doing it. You know, there's a lot of people out there that will tell you that. There is a right way to do it. You have to do it this way. You have to do it. No, you don't. You, you don't have to do it anyway. If it sounds cool to you, it's cool. You know, it, it's going to sound cool to somebody else. So um, that would that would probably be. No, that's where. awesome. It's, you know, and, and that's the thing, you know, we're our own worst critics. But Always. Yeah, definitely. Uh, but when we're out there, you know, we're performing. Like, you don't know what kind of influence you're having on these younger folk are like, wow, mm-hmm. I like, look mm-hmm. check out that dude. He's like killing it. Yeah. You know, so kudos to you, man, that just to be out there, you know, uh, perfecting your craft and, and not being afraid to just get out there. Yeah. You know. Um, all right. Well, let's move on. Move on, he says. <laughs> uh, so I love, well, you know what? We'll talk a little bit about the instrument here. Sure. Uh, love your guitar, Epiphone. Uh, it's uh it's a uh, master built. Nice. Um, I've had Zoom it for, in on those bad boys. Hold on. I've Zoom. had it for, I don't know, uh, f- 15 or 20 years or so. Wow. Um, this is the this is what I use when, I, when I'm playing, you know, playing gigs and, and whatnot. Um, I have, you know, I've been playing music my whole life, right? Sure, so sure. I, I have, I'm up to 10 guitars now. Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> That's pretty common. And That's quite the collection. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they're and they all have a very specific purpose. Um, you know, 
uh, with the exception of two of them have the same purpose. They're campfire guitars, as I call them. Oh, you know, yeah. So yeah. I'll yeah. bring them camping, and I can play them, and somebody wants it. And like, That's Here like you the go. utility like if guitar. It, yeah, if it, gets, if it gets bumped, I'm not going to freak out or right. whatever. Right. Yeah. I mean, um, not that I want people the to The all-purpose guitar. It, but, but if it happens, it happens. Yeah. It's not a big deal. And then I have... The APG. You know, <laughs> I, have, I have acoustics and electrics, and my, my most recent addition was um, uh, Semi Hollow, which, which oh, nice. I'm really enjoying. That's, my, that's now my couch guitar, so it sits next to my recliner on my couch, and I just yeah. grab it and fiddle around. You know? So out of all of those, do you have a favorite? Uh, I, it, it, might, it, might be the, it might be the new car smell of it to me but but it is that <laughs> yeah it is that uh, that semi hollow it's a nice. it's an aria pro 2 Ooh. um and it's a it's just a lovely lovely guitar especially as a like practice guitar you know because you can just sit there it's loud enough that you can hear it while yeah. you're watching a show or something like that but it doesn't drown it out like a dreadnought would or something like right. that you know that's cool that's cool yeah i, I find that to be pretty much commonplace with a lot of guitars they, they definitely will have a collection i uh, shout out to Clayton Phelps. He has a huge. That's my old neighbor, by the way. Mm-hmm. Uh, huge collection of guitars, like huge collection. And that's just that's just mine. Yeah. Like, never mind all my father's guitars. That. Oh, yeah. I can. <laughs> I bet. I I, now, I, God willing, uh, that he, you know. But I mean, those will be passed down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know. Uh, those are those are my future guitars. Is right. <laughs> right. In many many years. Many many. many. Yes. God willing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but that's cool. That's cool. You know. Um, it's, it's it's fun. Like I, I've, I like you talk about people that you know will see you perform, and even if you're making mistakes, they still think it's cool. I, I'm one of those people. Like I, I I play the piano, sure, but I've tried to play the guitar, mm-hmm. and I just can't get my fingers to bend that way. Yeah. And and if there's ever an instrument that I've wanted to learn how to play, it's the acoustic guitar. I really, really want to get back into piano again too. Really? Uh, yeah. I, I, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a really, really amazing instrument, and it's actually, it's really, it's really nice. It's easy to learn, like musical theory on for like sure. younger people and stuff like that, because it's all laid out in a row, and your halves are there and all that stuff. Right. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a good transition uh, instrument too if you want to eventually get to the guitar because you, you know. A lot of those, uh, like the the finger stretches. Yeah, stuff. well, and, and then the progressions of the chords and all that. It's kind of, it just translates a, a little bit uh, easier from the piano to the guitar because, you know, it's not obviously it's not exactly the same, but mm-hmm. but it's easier to understand. Like like I said, like musical theory when you're talking about like the one four five chord structure, right? Because it actually on the piano it actually is like on the white keys one yeah. four five. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's, you know, so it makes it nice and easy on the, on a guitar. It's all the positionings are different, and right. you know what I mean. So it's not the, it's not the same thing. It's not as obvious. Yes, you know. Yeah, so it, exactly. you, you have to bend your mind a little bit more if you yeah. don't already have it grasped. Yeah, know? yeah. But that's that's why, you know, I, for me, I, I could be in the worst of moods, and then I listen to that acoustic guitar, and I'm just like, I'm happy now. Yeah, you yeah. know, it's it's any of that, any of that uh, really um, uh, intimate. You know, the acoustic guitar just, just screams intimate, right? You know, yeah. but I feel like the piano does too. Like, I would love to get like a like a a, a mini grand. You know what I mean? Oh, like, just, yeah. Like, cause they're not huge. You know what I mean? But but right. they just but they just sound beautiful. You know, and it's like you know, I miss the old piano bars. Like, yeah, oh, I've been to, like I've the been dueling to, pianos. I've been to a couple piano bars like back in the day, and those are really cool. Like, you go yeah. in and get a drink and have yeah. dinner, and they got the piano going, and maybe you'll have somebody go up there and sing a song mm-hmm. at the piano. But even just the piano in the background is beautiful. I've been uh, when I was out in Savannah, Georgia, like the dueling pianos yeah. at the piano bars. Oh, that is so cool. Yeah. yeah. See, so that's kind of like my um, aspiration uh, to you know go to one of these open mics with the piano and get brave enough to like then hop on the piano as somebody else is playing mm-hmm. a guitar or sing a song whatever and just dive right in right. you know um, like, like as for instance the acoustic guitar I think piano acoustic guitar would just m- that melody together would be so so beautiful oh yeah you know? yeah because they, they're both I mean they're both string instruments right they're, yeah. and they're both they're both uh, like we said they're, they're that they're that intimate type of type of thing so yeah Hey Nikki, how am I doing as far as uh, trying to uh, convince Derek here to team up with me and, and, and form a band? <laughs> <laughs> a duo. 
I mean, I I, I play a mean tambourine. I'm oh, gonna keep yeah. a beat for y'all. It, yeah, you're coming. You're, you're, you're getting close. You're getting close. I'll tell you that. Much. You have. I mean, I, I can do some harmonizing for you guys. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. I guess I'm rocking. I think, I think we're onto something here, <laughs> fellas. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but but no, you know, because I, you know, we've been to those open mics before, uh, where you'll have a, one musician perform that one song, and then another musician will come in with some percussions, mm-hmm. and yep. yeah, so much fun. Yeah, and it's it's yeah, it's fun. Um, and I remember a little while ago, somebody had uh, asked asked me. I went and played his open mic that he had been doing at the uh, uh, the cafe on the common. Oh yeah, and then uh, we went to the Onion afterwards, and somebody, his, a friend of his, was playing um, Scott Allen Savoy as, as you know, and Love Scott. yeah, and uh, and they said, oh, come up and you know, grab the grab the shaker or whatever. So I like go up and oh. play the shaker while he's playing his set. You know, like it wasn't an open mic; it was his gig. So I was I was very wow. very uh, honored honored that he yeah. yeah that he that he invited me up you know, during his time. You know. Um, that's cool. That's a cool just, experience. Yeah, just but it speaks to the like we talked about multiple times to the people around here. You yeah, know, just all the musicians are great. I yeah. actually um, Scott's last birthday party, they turned it into like an open mic. It was at the the Boiler mm-hmm. Bar up in the upstairs, and yeah, they were like, "Oh, it's, it's celebrate Scott's birthday. We're gonna do like this open mic." So you had like Sweet Euphoria up there. Right. You had Franco. You had and like. Scott would just be like, okay, my turn, and, like, come on. And we're like, it's your party, man. Like, do whatever you want. Like, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, it was just so funny. He's like, okay, my turn to play a song now. Like, uh-huh. So, yeah, he's yeah, awesome. Yeah, that's, that's the thing, right? You know, musicians usually have a lot of musicians around them. Right? Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. It was definitely one of the coolest birthday parties I've been to. Yeah, yeah I imagine. That'd be a lot of fun. <laughs> and, and, you know, that's something that I'm, I'm experiencing outside of our little bu- uh, bubble here in, mm-hmm. in north central Massachusetts. You know, I've, I've um, now gotten introduced to musicians out of Worcester and Boston, and the community is very similar. You know, very supportive of each other. So, I think it's just really cool in, in that in, in this area that we have that because I've talked to a few musicians that are not from anywhere in this area, and that doesn't exist in that community. Yeah, yeah a lot of times it is very adversarial. Everybody sees it as competition. I, I I don't know. I I've never viewed it as a competition, right? You know, right. I mean, you're you're going to be better at the guitar than I am. You know, you're going to be better at this style of vocaling than I am, or whatever it is. And it's like your I like your style better than I like my own, or whatever. But there's plenty of places to play. There's plenty. You know, music needs to be everywhere. You know, so there's there's plenty of spots for it. And there's there's plenty of space for everyone to to be out there and be around. And there's no reason yeah. not to just support everybody around you. Exactly. Right. It's it's not a competition. We're all here for the same reason. Right. Yep. Yeah. It's all art, you know. It, it's exactly. Art. Exactly. It really is. It really is. Um, well, speaking of art, can we hear some more of your art? Can we hear some more of your art? Sure. <laughs> can, sure. Can I get a Pablo Picasso? <laughs> all right. No, we're keeping our ears intact. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, right, right, right. Wow, I like that joke. <laughs> <laughs> gonna, that took me a second, but I like it. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Yeah. All right. So uh, we'll uh, this time we'll we'll jump to the '80s. I don't have a lot of '80s stuff, but uh, that's, that's back when Chris had hair. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I did actually have really good hair that back then. Uh, I miss the '80s with the quaff. The quaff. Yeah. I did. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely like that. <laughs> and now, and now your now your nephew has it. Yes, he does. Yeah, that Christian, we miss you. Christian, we miss you. Uh, but. Uh, you know, uh, don't take that hair for granted because it will fall out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mine's on its way. Yeah. 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 Thank God for hats. What are you going to do? <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah. This is a good song by Journey. Broken into two, 
You know, so it took me a while. That song is about divorce. <laughs> is it? I think so. I mean, that's like the song closing time that you hear at the bar every night. That's about a baby being born. Yeah. Really? Yeah. It's fine. Like, I, yeah. I, yeah. You know, Who'd have thunk? I know. <laughs> but seriously, like, like, I didn't either. Like, I, for the longest time, I've always heard that song. And I'm like, that's a really cool song. The, the intro, the, the beat, and all that. But then I like really started painting the lyrics. I'm like, wait a minute. This the lady a- cheated on him and yeah. he found out and now they're getting a divorce. And if he ever hurts you, like I, Yeah. Yeah. Right. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Man, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have to read this later. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I It's mean, funny how I never caught well, that. Like, you know. The more you know, cue the rainbow. Right, <laughs> right, right. So you know I love to- LeVar Burton. <laughs> <laughs> Butterfly Reading in the, the sky. sky. Uh, yeah, it, so it, it just goes to show you, you know, there's a song for every event in your life. Yeah. That will help carry you on. <laughs> See what I did there? Uh, oh, Jesus. Oh, God. <laughs> He's slipping some gold fingers. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, and, and that's what's great about music is it's there for you uh, when no one else is, and it, you know, helps you get through all that. Um, the good and the bad, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's all, it's always been so for me, right? Um, I've always, um, I, I'm, you know, I'm a big believer that all arts need to be supported in in schools and whatnot, yes, definitely. Um, because 
because people need an outlet. You know, you need to be able to express everything. And for me, music is is another level than other art. Not to besmirch other artists, other art types, but sure. for me, I, it's just different because you can listen to you can listen to a song and it'll take you back back to a place in time. It'll completely transform your mood. There's nothing else that you can do that's in, especially in the background. And people will be walking through, not paying attention to you, and it will ultimately like change their change their core and, and their their mood and their and everything. Yeah, you know, it's it it touches people to to the center, you know. Yeah, definitely, definitely, and then that's why music's so important. You know, you you touched it right on the head um, that you know we need to make sure that we maintain our musical programs in school and that we're teaching our children, you know, how to play music, how to perform, and mm-hmm. Um, really just express themselves. Yeah, and, and like I said, I mean, all art, right? But because some people aren't, music isn't their thing. Maybe sure. it's sculpting, maybe it's whatever. Oh, but you need, you, you, need that, you need that outlet for people. Especially like, uh, you know, every, every employer always wants people to think outside the box. And mm. how, if you remove all the arts, how can you expect kids to grow up and think outside the box if they've always been told that you have to think inside the box. Art is where you're able to explore outside the box. Yeah, absolutely. You know, so, um, and to be able to hone those skills in whatever form is, is essential, I yeah. think. It's, it's important. Culturing is, is important to mm-hmm. our society, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Well, Derek, I, I can't tell you how much fun I've had having you down here. I've had a, I've had a good time here than myself. Man. Yeah. I, I thank you for having me, guys. I'm much appreciated. Much appreciated. It's very kind. Yeah, no, no. I, Thank you for talking to me at that bar that, that one night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, no. It was great. Um, and, uh, you know, thank you for all that you're doing. I, I, you know, I know you took a little bit of hiatus and you're just getting back out there, but mm-hmm. I commend you with what you're doing. It's just, you know, incredible. Um, you inspire a lot, of, <clears throat> a lot of people. And I, I hope that you continue to, uh, you know, just keep pushing it and... Uh, I wish you nothing but all the success, my friend. Yeah, thank you kindly. You guys too. I, I love what you're what you're building here, and uh, and this is a uh, this is a really cool thing you got going. There's you know I know there's been a lot of lot of cool acts in the past that you've had on, and, and I know that there's a lot of cool acts that are coming. So yeah, yeah, definitely. No, no, thank you. It's thank it's you. yeah, it's it's been amazing. Um, you know, before we let you go, uh, mm-hmm. let's see. Is there anything that you want to tell the audience? Um, yeah. Um, so once this airs, um, I I have a plan of releasing several songs uh, in 2025, uh, and they are all going to be live acoustic covers recorded um, by Franco of Soundbites, open mics and events uh, over at the Oliver Pub in Onion. Um, and uh, that's gonna be; those are gonna be coming out, and and uh, I have I have a plan for the whole structure, but I'm gonna keep that a little bit close to the vest for now. But uh, but that is coming, so it's gonna be. Uh, I'm excited about it. Um, I got some cool people working on it, uh, and awesome. it's uh, it should be interesting. It should be fun. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> oh my god! <coughs> I was holding that in the whole time. There it is. I should have caught that. I, I, I was like, what are you doing? Like, there it oh, is. Yeah. There it is. I was holding it in the whole time. I think it's because I ran out of water. Mm-hmm. Look at the pile <laughs> of empty cans in front of this man right here. Gotta stay hydrated. Yeah. I'm doing it because it's the uh, steam might throw from me. Why? It's because it's it, it's a way to ruin that heartfelt moment. I know. I feel so bad. No, nah, that was good. You got a good cut off that, I think. I, I, that's what I was going for. <coughs> All right, you're my, being my dramatic. Bad, my bad. I lamp. I rambled on. I should have caught that because yep. I, I heard it in your voice at the the last sentence you said, and, and you took off your headphones. I'm like, what are you doing? Like, you, is he gonna run over here and punch me or something? <laughs> <laughs> you just shut talking. up. No, no, this is how we end the show. Night, night. Night, night. I said we're done. We don't fade to black. We go to black. <laughs> leave a black eye. Oh All right, you're being very dramatic. No, it, you know what Enough's it is? enough. You know what it is? It's like, 
uh, my sinuses are coated in my throat. Mm. So I'm trying oh, to... Oh, you got that old post-nasal drip yeah, going on. Yeah, exactly. Good Yummy. Time. I'm trying to clear it. Yummy. I guess I'm going to have to take Claritin. I was trying to avoid taking On that note, but Chris is about to die, so that was probably a good time to you know, <laughs> stop us at <laughs> an hour and two minutes. I'm, I'm back. Uh, Are you? No. Uh, so, uh, sweet, awesome. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I was lo- losing trains of thought. No, oh. <coughs> no thank okay. you for listening to the musical chairs of Massachusetts. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. okay, <laughs> okay, okay, because that'd be hard to edit. Uh, so uh, that's awesome. Uh, <laughs> let, let's <laughs> shut up, Nate. <Nicky. laughs> we, we try to have fun over we, here. We try, we try to have fun. fun. Yeah. Uh, you know, is, at Chris's expense. Yes. <laughs> Chris has died over here, but I'm okay. The show must go on. The show must go on, exactly. Uh, yeah. Get your get it together. Get her done. Uh well thank you again. Uh we're excited for you, uh <laughs> Frank and Derek. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Now we don't even know our own guest's name. No. It, he actually hasn't even been drinking here today. Let- well, I mean, I have had, to my defense, uh, two little fireballs. Uh, but I'm okay. Uh, that's amateur hour, apparently, <laughs> compared to He's a lightweight. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, As you see, just cans and nips in front of piling up in front of Derek and I over here, and he's like, "Me, I'm drinking apple I'm drinking apple juice, and it hurts." Uh, before we let you go, though, yes, uh, would you happen to have one more song in your arsenal? Sure, sweet, sure, yeah, yeah. Um, this one uh, was a song that I got introduced to uh, by by the book De La Faces and uh, it was uh, I'd, I'd never heard it before but it was it was covered by a couple of kids out in the middle of the country uh, brother and sister tandem and I just thought it was really really cool so uh, so I learned it and then after I started playing it for a while I was like I should probably listen to the original because uh, <laughs> I had never heard the original uh, oddly uh-huh. enough so this is a one hit wonder band um, by the name of Family of the Year.
I, I can't think of a better way to, to end that. That's yeah. awesome. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much, Derek. Guys, uh, make sure you check our buddy out here, Derek Acoustic, D Acoustic. Uh, he is out there, and um, definitely check out his new project, uh, the songs that he'll be re- releasing. So, uh, just terrific stuff. Thank you so much. Can we get a round of applause, please? Yeah. <laughs> And again, guys, uh, make sure you are following us, subscribing, and checking out our content because everything that you do, you follow by you follow us, you're helping out our musicians, and that's what is really the mission of the show. Well, is, yeah, I don't really care so much about helping us out. But yeah, like, you're helping out Derek and all of exactly. our other friends of the show. Right, exactly, and and the bigger audience we have, the bigger audience our musicians have, and that's what this is all about is like a domino effect yeah exactly it's like an avalanche snowball snowball effect um so guys we feed each other right we do yes do you like to build a snowman is that how that goes no we do feed each other (laughs) nikki brought in pizza i did Uh, so so yes that's Um, quite literal shout out to pipe dream brewing in londonderry Ooh. Great beers, amazing barbecue chicken pizza. Yeah, there yeah. There's the shameless free plug. It is good. Yeah, I think we have a slice uh, if you wanted to yeah. get in on some of that. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys. So this has been another episode of the Musical Chairs in Massachusetts. And again, follow us on all our socials. And we'll be back. With, tomorrow. We'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> Ooh, yes. Y'all won't know that. Yeah, we'll be back tomorrow for, uh, for just two our, episodes ago. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's, that's how math works. Uh, but you know, it's movie magic. It's movie magic. Yeah. Um, you math well. <laughs> yeah, I math well. The math isn't mathing, but just roll with it, folks. Just roll with it. Just roll with it. <laughs> uh, so again, thank you guys. So uh, let's go ahead and sign off. Uh, ready? One, two, three. Bye. Bye. Peace.